So I'm going to have a look at leak code now. I've not looked at it before, uh, but I've just had a quick look around and it looks quite interesting. There's some competitions and various things going on. But uh, I think for my first exercise, I'll go for top interview questions. And I'll take a look at the first exercise, remove duplicates from sorted array. Okay, given an integer array nums sorted in non-decreasing order, remove the duplicates in place such that each unique element appears only once. The relative order of the elements should be kept the same. Since it's impossible to change the length of the array in some languages, you must instead have the result be placed in the first part of the array nums. More formally, if there are k elements after removing the duplicates k, then the first k elements of nums should hold the final result. It does not matter what you leave beyond the first k numbers. Return k after placing the final results in the first k slots of nums. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with O1 extra memory. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so it says we're going to be given an array um, in non-descending order. So I don't know why they don't say ascending order, but it contains duplicates. So it's going to have numbers like this. Uh, they don't have to be consecutive. Let's just say that's our array. Um, now, instinctively, what I would do is create another array and loop through this array and say if the last value we didn't put in the array is not this next value, then put it in. So in other words, I'd create a new array. I'd look at the first, loop through these values in this array, see the one, see that this array is empty and put the one in there. Then see the two, look back at the one, it's not two, so put it in there. See the two, look back at the two, it is a two, so ignore it. And then three, look back at the two, it's not three, so put three in there and go forward like this. But what they're saying is, do not have another array. Um, so obviously they're going to test uh, our memory usage and make sure that we actually manipulate this array. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see the number, the first number, I'm just gonna do nothing with that. I'm gonna look at the next number and I'm gonna look back one number and see if it's the same. If it is, I'm gonna increase an index and that index is gonna describe where I'm gonna put this number. So in other words, I'll start off at the two, I'll look back, so the index is zero, I'll look back, I'll see that the this number is different to this number, so I'll keep index at zero and I'll put two at the index that it's at plus this index. Then the next index, I see a two, I look back at the next, the last number, it's the same as this two, so I'm going to add one onto the index. So I'll get rid of one and set it to make it minus one. And then I'm going to put this value at its index plus this index minus one. And I'm going to carry on like that. So I see the three is not the two. So leave the offset at minus one and put the three at the index plus this index. So the three is going to go there. I'm going to carry on. The four is going to go there. And then this four is going to go back see that the value before is a four we update the index to minus two and it can go there the six goes back to to there and the ten goes back to to there it said it doesn't matter what we leave in the rest of the array so we'll just leave that um, do nothing with it and we need I think to return this index so let's have a go at that They're actually giving us the 
this code here. So let's use that in our main method. Okay, so I've just modified their code there to work with my class. So let's have a go at doing it. So I'm going to have that index. Um, I'll call it offset. And I'm going to start it at zero. And I'm going to loop through the array. Size. Length. I'm going to start at position one. I'm going to say if the array at i minus one equals the array at i so i'm saying was the previous number the same as this one then of that minus equals one and then i just need to say nums at i plus offset because offset is negative equal nums at i and at the end i can return nums length plus offset and i think that that is it so let's just see what happens when i run it okay so this is cert I'm not sure what that does outside of a test case, but I'll just system out print and get the boolean. If we see a false, we've gone wrong. True, 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 true. So that all looks right. So I think I'm going to submit that. Um, is there any corner cases? Uh, what if I give it an empty array? The answer we would expect would be empty. Let me just make sure that doesn't, yeah, that works. Um, I don't think anything's going to go wrong. I think this is the first uh, task that I've done on leak code and I think it's an easy task. So let's submit that and see what happens actually because I've not done leak code before. It's given me a very simple one with just one, one, two. Uh, is it happy? I think so. Let's submit. accepted more details okay um what's this saying runtime so my runtime beats a hundred percent of java submissions my accepted memory distribution i i don't really know well that's it's interesting to see how i did but i don't really know how else to do that and because we had to do it in the same array i'm not sure how we could be any slower but never mind that's my first go at leak code um, let me know if you want to see more LeetCode solutions um, and thanks for watching.